Hi there guys, welcome back to the Farron channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you me building my new Ryzen 7 CPU man rig and I'm also going to be showing you the hash rates as well on Dero as well. Okay guys, so going over a few of the parts and pieces that I've purchased for this new setup. So as you can see there from the motherboard, I've bought a A320M A Pro and this is a Thrag 3000 series ready desktop so that's something that you need to make sure if you are going to be going out there and buying yourself any Ryzen's or anything like that, make sure you buy the motherboard that has the correct ready things on there so you don't have to go around and wait too long to get it set up. In, in, in the situation, if you do have that and you've bought the wrong motherboard, the only thing that you can actually do is put an older CPU in there and do that. And if, you're, and if you don't have any of those type of things available, then that could be quite a bit of an issue for yourself. Okay, so what I've also got here as well is I've got a stick of Vengeance LPX RAM. It's just four gigabytes and that should be more than enough. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna stick that. Well, I'll leave that there for a second. Let's go ahead and take the CPU out of the box. And let's get this installed in there. As well for this system as well, I've got a two terabyte hard drive as well that I'm going to be throwing in there as well. Okay, so put this on camera so if I do break it and you guys can see it together. So this is something that's bought second hand so fingers crossed all those pins are straight and they're looking straight. And what we're going to need to do is find the little orange gold tab that would be in the corner showing you that side and then match that up with the corner on the motherboard so what we'll do is lift up the pin take this over and as you saw there nicely dropped in put that down and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead get ourselves some thermal paste and I've got a variety selection of thermal paste to choose from. So we've got some, I think this is some MX5 now. Uh, I do, I do apologise, this is Arctic Silver 3. Then we've got some thermal grease here, some HY510. Uh, I would recommend this one quite a lot. But for this specific setup, what we're going to do is I'm going to use the Arctic Silver High Density Polysynthetic Silver Thermal Compound. That's what it's saying. Okay. Right, let me just change that out and let's just go with the thermal grease instead, actually. I think I'm going to go with that one. Don't want to add anything metal or anything like that. And even if it's not, I'm going to take the rest of the second. So, we go ahead and just place a nice x straight across now if you've got a scraper tool or anything that you know where you can stretch this across then i definitely would just purely because this is going to get warm so you don't want this thing to be you know uncovered or anything like that i haven't put a lot on there but it's very very thin okay okay so i'll do my best to show you guys me setting this onto the motherboard so what you're going to need to do is get these two metal side clips that are on either side. You're going to need to get these hooked onto the little hooks that are on either one of these. Now, do be careful. And let's work our way around to the other side as well. The sounds are sounding more scary than what's actually happening. But as you can see, both sides now have clipped into place. And then there's like a little bit of a flip handle just on the side right here. And what you're gonna wanna do here, you're gonna wanna flip that round until it goes tight. And 
if it's all secure, it should be able to lift up your motherboard at the same time. Nice, okay, so that is all set up. So let's go ahead and throw in the RAM stick as well. Some motherboards can be funny which slot you put them in. So just keep that into mind. But this is a DDR4, four gigabyte stick. So I'm just gonna throw it in there. And as well, I'm going to need to plug in, if you can see there on the side of the heatsink, there's actually a little slot here, and this is for the LED colors and and things like that. So we'll take that, and then we're gonna to need to place this uh, into, I'm gonna assume, one of these little slots down here. Okay, so just like that, into one of the USB slots. And, looks like we're gonna have a bit of a wiring issue with this one. And then we also need to get a wire set up for the hard drive. So I'm just going to get out one of these SATA cables and connect this in there. And then the rest of the cables will be coming from the power supply from this point. And then maybe the HDMI to the computer screen. So. For the power supply, we're going to be using a 650BQ. Uh, this is something that I've had for quite a while, something uh, I got off an old friend. So what I'm going to do is plug this into the motherboard, just like so. So now that's connected into there, pop this here. Now, as I say, just for this specific moment, guys, I'm going to be doing this as a test just to get this system booted, just so I can see it working. And then, also, as well, we're going to need to get the fan for the CPU plugged in as well. So, where is that on this board? CPU fan right there. Go ahead, get that slide in there, nice. Okay. Okay guys, so I've fully got this set up and running right now, and it's currently mining Dero. So what I will be doing is I'll be showing you the hash rates for the Ryzen 7 3800X so that you guys can see and take your own perspective, but I've actually seen it running at around about nine kilo hashes so far on the Astro Miner. There was somebody that did say in my comments uh, in regards to the Uranus miner. It does sound funny, but it is actually a miner that's out there. Um, so maybe, maybe I might have to do a comparison video to you know to show you guys to see uh, you know, compare the hash rates to see whether it's worth the time you know, to jump on there because you know some more hash rates should potentially mean you know more profit in the in the end of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and jump over and show you the hash rates and let's see how it's been running. Okay guys, so I've had the rig up now for six hours and five minutes. And as you can see here, you can see the hash rate that it's currently running at, at the moment. Now, like I say, I have seen it fluctuate and I am also, I did throw a 580 on there at the moment and I'm mining some ever, ever more with that as well. So I don't know whether that's gonna be affecting the hash rate because I do currently have a Ryzen 7 3700X and that's currently running at give or take 10 kilo hash to just ever so slightly a little bit more. I have no underclock in or overclock or anything like that done to it, so not sure why that's getting actually more, um, but maybe that's something that's worth looking into. Also, just wanted to make sure as well uh, that I did notice that Rabid Mining put a video out in regards to setting up your DRA wallets and things like that, so I would also make sure, guys, to go ahead and check that video out and get yourself a wallet set up so that you don't be currently mining to trade over and things like that. Right, okay guys, so I know this was a completely separate type of video than I would normally do. Uh, I don't normally show me building up the computers, but I thought it would be uh, just worthwhile showing just in case anybody out there hasn't actually set up a computer yet or you're new to it. Right, okay guys, so let me know in the comments if you guys have started mining Dero or you've 
purchased any further equipment or anything like that to keep going forward. As I say, make sure that you are doing your own research and making sure that it is you know, something that's profitable or whether it's going to be worth your own time. Uh, and then also make sure that you're checking your power rates as well. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.